Here is ON15 P22, question 6. What we have here is a 12 volt battery with internal resistance connected to two identical filament lamps. So the lamps are connected to the battery via some switches. The power rating of each lamp is 48 watts for a potential difference of 12 volts. So S1, S for switch, is closed and S2 is open. So what does that mean? It means you just close the switch. Current is now flowing through the lamp. Uh, only that lamp, huh? and this lamp will light up. Boing! What do we need to do? State, explain whether the power transform in L1 is 48 watts or not. How on earth are we supposed to know that? Well, you see, did they mention anything about power rating? Ah, yes, God, power rating. So what a power rating means is that in ideal condition, if you feed it 12 volts, it will give up 48 watts. The question is, did you give the lamp 12 volts? So do we got 12 volts or nah? We'll look very carefully. 12 volts is the EMF here, but we also have what we call lost volts. That's going to happen at our internal resistor it gets hot the battery gets hot so we have number one we have emf 12 volts but we also will have some amount of lost volts so what we have across each lamp or what is supplied what is actually given to this lamp will not be 12 volts anymore it'll be less than 12 volts but we need to explain so the answer is no you don't give 12 volts you're not going to get 48 watts but why? We need to talk about internal resistance. Let's go down a little bit. We can say that mm, internal resistance of the battery or the cell causes what we call lost volts. Basically, lost energy. Yeah. Okay, so whatever PD you have now that is applied to the lamp to light up is less than 12, so you will not have 48 watts. So internal resistance causes lost volts. Uh, and the PD across lamp is less than 12 volts because 12 volts is the EMF. Mm. So power is less than the rating, is less than. 48 watts you will only get 48 if you feed it 12. so the first idea is if you talk about lost volts that will be p1 then you explain how does lost volts affect the pd less than 12 volts so power is less than 48 this will be the second mark okay or, or you can say this no la. power is less than 48 this part you can say uh, not 48 or no that's, that works too. Okay, then we go to part two. This part uh, is what I call a question that is a pain in the ass. Have you ever tried this question? You should try it out. Pause the video and try it out. So S2 is now also closed. State and explain the effects on the current in L1. So S2. Uh, previously, this one is light up. Now we close this switch also. So some new current will also be flowing down here. And this light bulb will also light up. But they are asking, what is the effect on current in L1? This car, eh, what am I doing? This current I, what changed when you add something new? Now it's going to be a little bit tricky if you try to think in terms of, oh, the current split, no? Some current flow down here, ma, so there's less supposedly but uh, wait 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 hang on a second these are cells with internal resistance so we cannot just come to that conclusion we need to think about the overall change in the total current which is also the current through the battery because that will affect i1 which is the current through the lamp number one so we think about this uh, wait, wait, uh, wait, uh. when it's internal resistance you cannot just say oh the current split no 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 number one Here's our thought process. When you add another lamp, overall resistance will increase or decrease. 
So you say lamp added in parallel. Now, contrary to thought, whenever you add something in parallel, the whole overall uh, circuit resistance will actually decrease. So total circuit resistance decrease. If you don't believe me, you try, you, you put, you put here, you put like a 2 ohm, you find the R, then you put 2 and 2, you find the R. Turns out this one is 2 ohm, this one is only 1 ohm. Why? Uh? I'll go try the equation, go and calculate. But here's a fact, lah. you can also keep in mind. Alright, so total circuit resistance decrease. That means current is very happy. So current, total current, I guess you could say, is also called current through the battery increases. This would be called also the I total according to our diagram. Increase, Eddie, yeah? increase, increase. Bigger current is a problem for lost volts. So point number three. Hmm. So more lost volts. Lost inside the battery cell. Battery get very hot because current get bigger. This one is related to the equation where V lost which is the tiny, tiny one here that causes the, the, the cell to lose energy, is I times internal resistance. Okay, so if current increase, loss volt increase. So more loss volts means, means what? Ah? Hmm. Means that each lamp, or rather the PD across lamp, decreases. Because... That is what the battery supplies, okay? It's related to the what we call terminal potential difference. Decrease. Okay, that's pretty much the whole, almost the whole story, yeah? Almost the whole story. So we need to talk lastly about the current in the lamp. So let's write down our key points down here. So f firstly, we can say, it's only one mark, so we don't have to say every single step. I think what we can say current is just talk about the lost votes. So, um, lesser circuit resistance causes larger current and more lost votes. So, potential difference across the lamp decreases. How does that relate to the current? We could think of the ratio V equals to IR. Now, note that it's a little bit tricky because these are called filament lamps. Did they say filament lamps? Yeah, they say filament lamps. So it means filament lamps, the resistance may also change depending on current and it may be significant. But let's see what the main effect is over here. So PD across the lamp decreases. That one's for sure. Current across the lamp? Mm, you know, we, 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 we'll wait first, wait first. Resistance almost constant we can assume because usually this change uh, in PD is a very small change so resistance roughly constant current would then have to increase because of a decreasing potential difference so we can just conclude here hence current decreases and we are referring to the current through the first lamp ah yeah this one ah, if you mention Greater lost votes. Where's my greater lost votes? More lost votes. That's already one mark. Less current. Uh, greater lost votes and and current decrease. Ah, that's all. But we don't know what the what they are looking for, so we write as much as we can. Okay. Now the second part is where I have problems with the mark scheme. I'm like this question is very tricky. It's not very well formed. Why are you so tricky? So. Remember just now I say maybe we can use this ratio VIR and kind of think of the changes. Actually, the R is changing also. <gasps> okay, so we shall rub this off. Okay, the first part is yes, the current will definitely decrease due to potential difference. 
less, but also because the current splits, but we cannot use that in describing physics. Oh, the current speed. Yeah, so that first part, we actually cannot assume so much that the R will be constant or not constant. But in second part, they ask, send and explain the effect on the resistance of L1. Oh, so the resistance will change. Yes, of course, this is a filament lamp. The resistance will change depending on current. So in this case, generally, if the current decrease or the voltage decrease, they're kind of related, then the resistance will decrease as well. So you can use either method to think about it. And this is the characteristic of filament lamp. Remember the graph? If you draw a graph of I against V, it should look something like this. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to use that to describe the resistance. Ah, all right, so once you close the switch, current will decrease. PD will also decrease. Okay, the one that we're more sure of is the PD, of course, because of the lost volts up there. So maybe we can talk about that as well. The potential difference across the lamp decreases. So, resistance decreases. That's based on the characteristic graph of the filament lamp. So if you write this line, something like that, this one will be B1. Okay, and an alternative, if you don't talk about PD across the lamp, you could, you could talk about the current through the lamp or current in the lamp, which also decreases based on our first part here. Okay, so this, this question, I know you were like a bit, feels a bit funny, like something's not quite right, especially in part B1 and part B2. But too many things changing. Ex so be careful when you see questions, especially when there's filament, where the resistance changing, and internal resistance, which also affects the PD supplied to each of the lamps. But that's all for this video. If you have any questions, ask a friend, ask a teacher, ask in the comment. But that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one.